Hi guys, thanks for watching. So, tarot for the sign of Leo now. We'll do a reading for Leo uh, in the month of July. I'm doing this, but the best time to watch it is now. Whether that's now, as in my now, or whether that's in the future. Best time to watch it is when you're drawn along to it, okay? So let's have the first card in this reading for the sign of Leo, please. And we've got the Eight of Cups. Here we go. Now then, Oh, change, restlessness, that kind of thing. It's a situation that probably suited you quite well. In fact, uh, things might have felt as if they were going very well. And uh, something's changed, though. Something's changed fairly recently. There's something quite immediate uh, in the feeling I get with this card for you guys, Leo. And it's, uh, it's fluid energy, different strokes for different folks. But uh, basically, when this card comes up, things are going to need to change. Um, even though they probably seem quite positive in some ways you see Alice has got these cups here she's got eight actual cups stacked up there and a bit of a pig in the poke in the top we're not quite sure what uh, piggy is there for just yet but uh, it's there anyway and those cups are blocking the door you see she can't actually get through the door because of the cups and um, the door looks very firmly closed so it's not going to just blow open in the wind this is something where Alice needs to make a bit more progress somewhere in her life somewhere she's not clear about yet but uh, basically guys you're going to find that in some area of your life something no longer suits you no longer serves you no longer works for you something that was really helping fairly recently uh, as well actually maybe not uh, not long ago things all felt fine Maybe you bit off as much as you could chew, but have found out that maybe that was actually a bit more than you could chew in the fullness of time as things have changed. Because, you know, life has changed and things are always changing. Um, but there's a fear of the unknown now uh, that, that makes Alice really, she'd much prefer to go through that door. So she's really fed up that she's got to go forward now. Um, because, you know, the answers for her really would seem to be on the other side of this door, but maybe not. Maybe the cups are blocking it for a reason. Maybe what's getting in your way is getting in your way for a reason. But what you're up against, Leo, is going to be something to do with fear. Either your own fear of the unknown or fears that other people have about what will happen to you. And uh, that, that's a really difficult one, you know. Um, sometimes family worry about us and they'd really like us not to do something that we, we have to do. And, uh, you know, basically in the end, we have to do it. Uh, you know what uh, what I'm talking about. I'm sure, Leo, it's, it's, you don't have to be even uh, an adult to know that life goes that way. It's just one of the obvious facts and realities of life there. Okay, so the thing to do is going to be to keep going in some shape or form. I'm sure of it. I'm just prizing. At the, I've had these cards, yes, but the box never gets any easier to open. It's got to be a good sign, I think. Messages from your animal spirit guides. Let's have a shuffle and let's ask. i to make sure I've got all the cards out here. <laughs> let's ask. Tell us more about the Eight of Cups, please, in this reading for the sign of Leo, which I'm doing in July 2019. Tell us more about the Eight of Cups, please. Some more about the Eight of Cups. And we have Elk or Wapiti. Let's just put those out of the way. Elk. Stand tall and maintain your dignity no matter what, and others will treat you with the respect that you deserve. So, Leo, in that case, it looks like you're already aware of the, uh, the need for change somewhere along the line. It might not seem like actual need for change yet, but something's uncomfortable. Something doesn't feel right. And other people are likely, or maybe, maybe not people, maybe the situation you're in could be different for anyone. But there's pressure on you to stay the same. Basically, there's pressure on you not to make this positive change. But positive change is always, always worth making. So, uh, stand tall and maintain your dignity no matter what. There you go. It's saying others will treat you with the respect that you deserve. That's a true thing. Uh, also, situations tend to fall into place more easily when you do that. You know, um, I... I I've done things in my life because I'm interested in spirituality and anything to do with kind of God and what people believe about God has always interested me. And uh, a, a lot of people, you know, think that's kind of a hiding to nothing. My, my, my actual father would have preferred if I'd kind of been less like that and more like whatever he thought I should be. I don't know, but we do have to be ourselves in that life. And, you know, and we can end up with a really blessed life by going our own way. Because sometimes if we're just open and uh, really kind of straight with ourselves and others, I am this or I want this and I'm going this way, then people stop trying to change us eventually. 
we can hope anyway. Okay, time <clears throat> to come on to the next card then in this spread for the sign of Leo. We'll do three tarot cards and three oracle cards. So we're on to the, uh, the next tarot card, which is the, the significant one because it's the heart of the matter. It's what's going to be in the middle of the spread. So uh, let's have a card, please, for the sign of Leo for the middle of this spread in July 2019. And we've got Six of Swords. And it's one, I always wonder if people can read these because that looks very dark to me. But when I watch the videos back, it's usually okay. So uh, maybe YouTube does something positive with it. I don't know. But there you go. We are actually going from rough waters into smooth waters in this card. So there's something safe about this. There's no leaves on the tree, but it's a cycle, you know. And uh, when we see the bear... Uh, branches on the trees we actually know that they're bare like that because new life is going to come and new life can't come until things have dropped off the tree uh, that are actually there and flourishing on on the tree at the moment but the tree has to come first in so many ways because the tree can produce many many generations of leaves and uh, go on filtering the air and giving life to the planet uh, much longer than, than human beings live so there's great magic there uh, because it actually it's something that outlasts our own lives uh, this is why tree is a uh, tree magic is so important in the ancient uh, Celtic ways in the ancient pagan ways because you kind of bind yourself to something uh, when, when you're do, doing magic working with trees you're binding yourself to something that goes back longer longer even than there have been people on the world uh, on the earth very long way back indeed so uh Anyway, right, when that card's up, you've got to start thinking about what have you wanted and, you know, how did kind of reality turn out? Um, did you think it was a great idea and then it didn't go as well as you thought it would? It's actually, yeah, this is the next stage of the Eight of Cups here because it is all about kind of needing change and needing, uh, you know, feeling restless and possibly needing not just to get out of a situation but to get the situation ticking over the way you like it. Uh, the, the amount of change that's needed here is going to vary a lot from person to person, but change is needed when this card comes up, guys. I'm sure it is. And you'll find that there's some advice coming in as you kind of contemplate this. But this is uh, this is dream reality, really. You'll get a lot in your dreams about this. Uh, in fact, you'll see more from your third eye when you really get down to thinking about this than you will see through the round things at the top of your face. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm very sure about that. So let us now go back into the Animal Oracle deck and say, tell me more, please, about the Six of Swords in this reading for the sign of Leo. Tell us more, please, about the Six of Swords in this reading for Leo that I'm doing in July 2019. And that's this one. It's Condor. There used to be a pipe tobacco called Condor in the UK. I have to kind of put that image out of my mind because it was before tobacco advertising was banned. Right, Condor, you're too enmeshed in this situation, so step back and see the bigger picture before making any decisions or taking any actions. And, you know, like any bird, the Condor gets a great overview by being high in the sky, but it is a speciality of the Condor to kind of look around and make, make reconnaissance. So this is all part of making the change, isn't it, Leo? This is about um, actually looking around and thinking, um, for example, in relationships term terms, is this person a soulmate? Uh, is this person a twin flame in one way or another? Uh, is, you know, or is it likely to develop into that? Or would it be better to kind of mm, do one of two things? You could either kind of go on with it at, at a more superficial level and not worry about the depths and of uh, romance and uh, the heights of romance as well. Or uh, you might want to go in a different direction altogether, break it off and look for something that really, really floats your boat on that level. Take it from me, guys, I'm 55. If you're too choosy, you end up on your own. Really, you do. So I wouldn't be too choosy, OK? But look around, see what your options are, OK? Because you do have options when this comes up, OK? Too enmeshed in the situation, so step back and see the bigger picture. There's too much here, see, so of uh, doing what other people think you should do or not doing what other people think you shouldn't do, perhaps more to the point. Um, this door looks as if it's closed up very firmly, so Alice really does need to move on from that situation. But it doesn't say she can't open the door at the end of the day. It really doesn't. So I'm going to have a shuffle and I'm going to say... Let's have another card, please, in this reading for the sign of Leo, which I'm doing in July 2019. 
Let's have the third card in this spread for Leo, please. Okay, and we've got... Ah, it's the death card. And uh, if you've never watched a tarot reading before, let me tell you guys, this doesn't mean someone's going to die. Uh, a lot of people think it does mean someone's going to die. But uh, as you get interested in the tarot and follow it, you'll see it's very far from that. Um, nothing is ever, No one is ever going to tell us the day that we're going to die. If we knew that, we'd go insane. Uh, certain people have known over the years, but I don't know, they must have been very, very kind of gifted and robust uh, people mentally to be able to know that. Uh, this is never telling you that someone's going to die, particularly not you, but it shows that a situation needs to change, you know? A soul can't reincarnate until it's passed out of this life and passed over into the spirit world. Um, a new idea can't really get your full attention until you've closed the door on a previous idea. So Alice has blown the candle out here, and we can already see there's plenty of light in the room. It's still a bit dull and kind of dark in there, but we can see everything in the scene quite Quite nicely. Uh, it's all been illuminated and uh, it's not a false light that you see. The candle isn't really a false light. I mean it is natural light candles and I do love to have candles going uh, but it's kind of it's light that wouldn't be there if we hadn't made the effort to put it there. It's kind of human made light if you like. In the background here we have the actual true light of actually being, being able to, for Alice to come out of this cave and go forward into life and really crack on with things. Okay, so let's say, tell us some more about that card, please. It's number 13, the death card. Lucky for some, lucky for everyone in this reading, I hope. Uh, tell us some more about the death card in this reading for the sign of Leo, please. And we have... Okay, when they all stick together, I can't just read the whole deck, unfortunately. Boar, face your problems head on with confidence and courage and you will emerge victorious. And I don't want to bore you, so I'm going to be brief now. I think that card is saying that to me as well. It's a kind of a pig, you know, a wild boar. We used to have them in Britain and I think we ate them all or something. Uh, face your problems head on with confidence and courage and you will emerge victorious. Okay, so whatever Alice is walking away from here, this obstacle that she feels she can't get through, she is going to have to come back and try again to get through it. But there's time to contemplate and it's good to take time if there isn't obvious time. Take some time, it'll be okay. Yeah, because this is important on your journey. This is going to make a huge difference when you take that time. And, you know, the difference doesn't actually happen within this card. It's just that this shows that you're moving from rough water into smooth water. And you are going to have to blow the candle out on the past, guys. And that's what, what we mean, really, by facing it head on. That's what the boar's saying with... Uh, by, that's what the boar is saying when he says, face your problems head on with confidence and courage and you will emerge victorious. Right? So bear that in mind. You will emerge victorious. The greater the victory, the more you throw yourself into it, basically. You get out what you put in in this situation, as in any situation. That's reality. That's life. Thanks for watching, guys. I'm going to say keep it real, keep it twig, brother. Great to uh, read for you again. I'm always looking forward to doing it, so I, I really love doing this. Uh, I'll be along with more readings soon. Thumbs up, please, if you've enjoyed it. Uh, don't forget to subscribe and tap that bell so you don't miss anything. Thanks to all of you who have subscribed, by the way, and for everyone who likes and leaves comments. It's just wonderful to have that interaction with you. Um, so, you know, have a good one, folks. Have a real good week. Peace, and I'll see you soon. Goodbye.